Woodcraft Magazine, making woodworking more enjoyable for woodworkers everywhere. Hey, I'm Joe Hurst, Senior Editor of Woodcraft Magazine. In our latest issue, I've built this neat little ulu knife and dished chopping block to go along with it. In this little video sequence, I'm going to show you some of the jigs and fixtures I used to make this project simple and safe. Instead of sandwiching the knife between wooden scales, I plunge cut the slots into a solid block with a multi-tool and a 3 8 inch wide blade. After layout, I drilled a series of holes set my saw guide with shims, and then sawed out the waste. I used a jigsaw to clean out the slot and work up to my lines. Once the tangs fit, I glued them in place with epoxy. To keep my fingers away from the blade and bit, I clamped the knife between 3 quarter inch thick MDF scrap, creating a holder for routing the handle. Keep the scrap in place when sanding and finishing. This jig makes routing a perfectly sized dish nearly foolproof. The turntable rotates on a 5 16 inch diameter dowel that's glued into the base. Sandpaper prevents the block from spinning should the bit catch the block. Use double stick tape or pin nails to affix the block to the turntable. To route the recess, I used a bowl bit, but any round nose bit should suffice. But you will want to route the recess from the outside in. To do this, position the platform so that the bit clears the block. Then, adjust the base for a 1 8 inch deep cut. Now pivot the platform until the bit's bottom edge makes contact on your chopping block. Rotate the turntable one full turn clockwise before shifting the platform down on your jig. To minimize cleanup, overlap your passes a bit. Once you've finished routing, you can use a curved scraper to shave off any high spots. Finish sand the block and dish through 320 grit and then seal the chopping block with your favorite cutting board finish. For more information about this project and several other great projects for your home and shop, check out the latest issue of Woodcraft Magazine, October-November 2015, in newsstands right now.